In a world where people become stars just from filming their pets and uploading to the web, hard work is not always appreciated. Hannah Kanyenzeva built her career on hard work and persistence. She started training at the age of 10, completely certain this is her goal in life, reaching the ultimate recognition of any athlete in the London Olympic Games, where she jumped only a few inches away from an Olympic medal. I want to jump better and better all the time. You always need to think about the next destination. Any message to your fans in, in uh, Motherland? No. This interview was taken a year ago, but after representing the Ukraine in dozens of competitions around the globe, life brought Hannah a surprise, Anatoly. We met in the Ukraine. I was there in boot camp. It wasn't love at first sight, but after a few months we started talking by Skype and meeting, and after two years I knew something needed to be done, so I asked her to marry me. Love made Hannah take a brave decision to leave everything behind, family, friends and a promising career, and move to Israel where she immediately became the big hope for a medal in 2016 Rio Olympic Games. Yeah! In Ukraine, they always talk about how dangerous Israel is and that there's no normal life, only war and conflict. But I couldn't understand what they were talking about. It's all good here. Israel is not a natural place for professional athletes. Its facilities are poor, its sports development's tradition is minimal, and its success are almost always associated with other FCU immigrants as Alex Averbuch and Konstantin Matusevich. It was different in Ukraine. There's a boot camp there, a lot of athletes. Here I'm training by myself. It was difficult, but I got used to it. There were a lot of problems, mainly the language. But now it's fine. I love Israel, I love Israelis, and I love the sun. I feel good here. But a casual meeting at the gym with David Chizik, a high-tech media businessman, enabled Hannah to pursue her dreams and keep on jumping towards the medal. <laughs> Hannah's self-discipline is expressed not only in her daily sports routine, but in her efforts to learn Hebrew in order to be a part of the local community. She insists on speaking Hebrew all the time, while dreaming of having an Israeli family, an Israeli medal, and just being Israeli.